Hello, welcome back to VS Live. Um, today I want to show you um, a quick look into an add-on for Blender. It's called Texture Synthesis. Um, this was created by Jose. And basically, this add-on is just a kind of like a GUI um, interface for you to do like a texture synthesis process that's, um, that's basically using this texture synthesis um, tool by Embark Studios. So it's it feels kind of complicated, but basically um, you you will be able to to provide an image or like multiple image and kind of synthesize uh, synth all those texture, kind of like a random random stamping in a way, but uh, in a more clever kind of way um, using neural network, I believe and. Uh, the one that's actually kind of popular is actually the style transfer. So this is the one that I will be demonstrating. Um, this is the, the first look into this um, add-on. So you, you you can provide an image and then you provide another image and kind of transfer the style. Um, so this uh, if this actually works really, um, sometimes it, it gives like a really strange result, but often it gives like quite believable result as well. Um, yeah, all right, so basically what you need to do first is to download um, this from GitHub. This is going to be the, oh, this one actually from Jose. So you download this from Jose Conse Conseco GitHub, just clone it and download the zip and then install the add-on as usual inside Blender. So edit preferences, um, install, and then just simply find the, the zip. I believe this is my zip. And then I, after you install it, you can find this texture synthesis. And this add-on will show up as a panel. What you need to do next is actually to download um, this from Embark Studios, but you make sure you get the the binary version. Um, where is it? So there should be the binary version. Okay, here, here, there you go. Command line binary, download the binary for your OS. I'm using Mac OS, so I'm using this Apple Darwin. You're, if you're using Windows or Linux, you can download uh, the binary. And the binary is just like an app. So I have it here in my download folder and I'm simply pointing into that binary. Um, it looks a little bit, it looks something like this. Um, texture synthesis, Apple Darwin, and then inside it, there's this texture synthesis. So this is the binary. So in, in Blender, you just point into that folder with the binary or the executable app, and then you're ready to go. What happened next in Blender, you go to image editor and then go under paint if you like, because you might want to do some painting. But I'm just using the style transfer here. There are all kind of interesting things that you can try. For now, just style transfer. So I have this corgi and I have this style image that's actually pointing into a folder so this is the folder with all kind of um, style that I have been collecting. Just a few. Uh, I, I like to collect some interesting looking arts with the uh, strokes, whatever. It's kind of abstract arts. And then you simply run the, the process. Just run texture synthesis. Um, this is the output. This, this is the image input and output. I set it to 100%. You can set it lower. And if you do that, it's gonna do through all this process and then you're gonna end up with something like this. So this is the this is the original photo of my corgi, and then this is the result. Right? It's pretty abstract. It's not it's not exactly looking like a corgi, but uh you can kind of see the silhouette a little bit once you kind of look at it. Okay. Probably it's not perfect, but maybe my setting is not um, correct. 
but maybe make this smaller value 0 0.4 and I'll choose another I'll choose another image like this guy right here and then run the synthesis maybe I'll make it smaller 50% of the output so what's gonna happen after I run that so this is the process that's going on in the background so the GUI the add-on is actually cleverly um, simply um, running executing this command with all the all the options and then we're gonna get something all right it's looking like pretty abstract it's, it doesn't look like our corgi at all but it's a uh, it's interesting so let's save this and look at it side by side okay I have a feeling that I should I should go higher in the number and then this one I just keep it 100% it's only a small image anyway and it's pretty fast um, I haven't tried running this for animations but we might get some interesting results uh, let's have a look so this one will take quite a while um, but I'm I can show you what I got earlier so I have this dog image oops the dog image one two three four so now with the dog you can kind of see okay that's more like the dogs right it's looking looking pretty good especially uh, I mean this is more abstract but this one is really really pretty good and this one also interesting still working on our corgi what else I can talk about I can talk about this okay the the texture synthesis can do a lot of things like you can do like a mixture of texture for example uh, on a single texture is kind of randomizing the texture that one and then you have multiple texture and combine it into one that's also interesting guided synthesis you have original image and then you have this black and white and you can kind of make a synthesis based on those i'm really more inter interested with this style transfer it's actually doing it's going really fast uh, in the past I, i've been using um, all kind of methods in painting i haven't tried but this probably can be useful if you want to generate like a procedural texture um, based on the photo so i haven't test all of this but uh, very very interesting there is also a video uh, tutorial i'm collecting i collect a lot of um, texture in the past I've, I've been using this surface called picasso it was a app and then you send photo and style online and it's gonna come back with something so yeah i've been making a lot of things this is actually based on the photo photograph um, the results has been very very interesting um, yes all sort of things let's see what happened to our little corgi dogs okay right this this is not bad this is uh, getting better so i call this move Zero, zero, four. I can try one more time with a different image. I know the one that's that might work. Let's try this more like anime looking. It's actually black and white, but try it anyway. It's probably faster. Let's observe this one. Oops, not this dog. The other one, Corgi. Oh yeah, well, so if you have image uh, with a lot of details, you can kind of see better result. This one is probably more like a tile version. Um, there must be a way to make it so it's it doesn't look like it's tiled too much. It's more like following the strokes of the art. Uh, it is actually not bad. I wonder what this one is going to give us. The last one takes around 
half a minute, around a minute. Now we already got something. Oh yeah, see? Look at this, from here to this. It's almost like an slightly like comics manga kind of looks. I really quite like it actually. You can try with Suzanne for example, um, because we are using 3D. Or maybe like using a texture and then kind of doing this 3D projection texture synthesis to generate texture for your character that's looking more like a manga. Look, this is also a couple of examples where I'm using this painting and I'm generating. This is one of my favorite based on the photo that I took. Um, I forgot it's near the beach somewhere in Indonesia and this one also. But uh, yeah, a lot of things. Uh, this neural um, neural texture machine learning can sometimes transfer the style pretty well. I mean, it's not perfect. Like I would, I would love to be able to style transfer something like this, but uh, we we'll see. You know, uh, it's interesting um, subject. Definitely, no longer you are limited. Um, in the past, I'm actually using this uh, Deep Dream Deep Dream Generator .com. You send your photo or image online, and then it has a couple of styles. I've been using this. This is actually really good, um, but now we can actually use the texture synthesis and doing it offline inside Blender. So yeah, give it a try. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.